Hi, I'm Don Bodan from SampleLibrarianReview.com. We're going to be looking at the new Albion Colossus update Spitfire just launched. This update features new content with a new eDNA techniques, new evos, warps, eco load features. Existing owners of the app can update for free. And as a celebration of the update, Spitfire Audio is offering Albion Colossus at 40% off now to $69, full price for $49 for a limited time. Jumping right in here, you can see we've got uh, new presets for the grid, for all of those Evo grid presets. Um, we used to just have the standard ones, so we can turn those off in the browser, and you can see we got a ton of synths in the EDNA engine. We'll just load up one here to show you, and take a listen. Randomly picked one there, buddy. We'll see what it's on. Yeah, pretty gritty. I like that. I noticed the interface has a little bit of lag for some reason right now when you're just uh, trying to browse. Uh, sometimes when I load it up, it takes a little time to get there. So basically, all of our new content here in the Evo grid, the synths for the uh, eDNA engine, and then the standalone stuff. Here it is. This was stuff that we'd uh, previously uh, gotten at first version of the library. Now there's two major updates with this library and the biggest one here is going to be accessible through the modes view. You can hit synth and then you've got uh, access to all of your synths. And these are ED and A engines that load up. So from here, we're able to play the ED and A engine inside the standalone library. This is also a good time to talk a little bit about the warps. They've added some new effects, and this is a flux. It gives it kind of an old time uh, tape feel, a little bit of warp to it. So what I typically do when I get an uh, update like this is just kind of go through a whole bunch of the library and have a listen to kind of see what the new content is going to add, how it might blend with the uh, uh, existing standard content, and uh, how I might use it. So let's listen first through a bunch of the eDNA presets in the synths category.
older Albion libraries, ones that load up into contact, and this will be familiar because this is almost the same kind of layout, same style of instrument as the EDA engine in the contact instruments. If you're not familiar, you can uh, change your samples here with a drop down. You can also st make stars and favorites. So if we had a playback like this, You can see that our mod wheel CC1 is morphing from one sample set on the left A to sample set B. Now there's a lot of effects and things going on, but if you just go in and change up your samples, you get a very different sound. You can take the instrument even further out with the gator controls, this gate sequencer they built in. And diving deeper a little bit into the engine, you got all kinds of controls to really start to make this a uh, one instrument scoring machine. Filter, volume controls, oscillator between your two different A and B samples. And then even a collection effects in the second panel. There's nearly a thousand presets for the eDNA engine. Um, we're not going to play through them all, but uh, I'll play through a few more just so we can hear a little bit more of the range. <laughs> Thank you. 
from my random sampling here, there seems to be a pretty nice range. You can really hear the standard instruments and they're manipulated through the engine. A lot of distortion in the ones that I kind of picked through for this listening, but I do hear some that are a little bit more clear, a little more pronounced from the original sample set. And within the engine, the sky is kind of the limit as to how far out you want to take them. The other big update is the Evo Grid engine now added to the library. If you're familiar with the Evo Grid through other Spitfire Audio instruments, this is very similar, ported into their standalone plugin here. Uh, looks uh, just about the same, higher resolution from looking at it with my eyes here. And for this, we've got a ton of different presets. Let's just flip through a few. Not only can you uh, choose between their D-Res, granular, extended, and wavering sample sets across the Evo Grid keys, but you also have randomization across the entire sample set or specific categories. I'm not sure if this is a glitch on this particular instrument, but I wasn't really getting any kind of controls for dynamics or from my volume. Now I can see my sliders were moving. So please comment below if that's a user error, if I'm just missing something completely there. Uh, let's go ahead and listen to a few of these presets. There's a ton of these as well.
experimenting a little bit more with randomize feature. I found those granular ones to be some of my favorite. I also feel like, um, like I said, I, I'm not getting any kind of volume or dynamic controls. I'm not sure if that's a glitch with my machine or if it's a user error, but that's something I'm really missing. I hope I see that in an update. Now those were the big things that I really wanted to check out here, the Evo grid presets and the eDNA engine. Uh, with the original uh, browser navigation, I really do like how you're able to go between the uh, standard articulations with the orchestra, the guitar and drums, and you can jump over and just see the eDNA instruments in your browser there. Same thing is true if we would just want to see the Evo grid engine presets in the browser as well. That really is going to help us in navigating around the library. Overall, I'm really pleased they released this, especially as a free update, because my big critique from the original review I did of the standard instruments, which I'll include a link to up in the corner here, was that of content. I really felt like the previous Albion libraries really had so much more content with the eDNA or Evo Grid or uh, Steven Steampunk, all of those kind of things that I really loved those extra little bits of instruments really helped me grow a uh, cue out or while I'm scoring, I knew that there was something tasteful that would go along with the orchestral instruments. So that's a big plus here, adding all of that. I'm also very glad this is a free expansion for those who already purchased it. And it's really nice to see that they're doing a celebratory price 40% off during this promotion of the update here. Now, I've mentioned a bunch of my thoughts along the way, but I'd love to hear yours. Please comment below. Do you think that the expansions here, if the eDNA and the grid engine into Albion Colossus makes it very exciting or tempting for you to pick up? Or did you already pick up Albion Colossus and just feel like this is just Spitfire? paying it forward to its supporting users. Please comment below. If you're not already, please subscribe to the channel. Come back around on Fridays for the weekly Deal Compressor Show.